This is the HP X2 laptop, but that just looks like another laptop. And you wouldn't be wrong, but it can also do this. So let's check it out. The first thing I noticed right out of the box was honestly how sleek it looked. I'm an Apple fanboy through and through, but I love the simple approach to design here with the curved edges and lack of anything that wasn't necessary. The body is made of plastic, which is what contributes to the lightweight design of about two and a half pounds. That's just about as heavy as three small notebooks. On the right side of the screen, you'll find the micro SD expansion slot, under that, a micro HDMI port, which was nice to have when working at home for extra screen real estate. A USB 2.0 Type-C port that's used for charging with an LED indicator on top of that to report the status of your battery. And a USB 3.1 under that supports sleep and charge. Therefore, if all else fails, you've got a relatively large portable battery. Flipping around to the other side, you've got a courageous 3.5mm audio jack that supports microphone in as well. With dedicated volume buttons up top and the power button right around the corner, they do lack a clicky response and are sometimes difficult to find due to their low profile. There's also a mic input at the top that works for both the front-facing camera as well as the rear 5 megapixel camera. This is my test of the front-facing camera with one video light on me. You can see how the overexposed areas are pretty blown out but it works perfectly fine for its intended purpose of video chatting with people who, well, don't care how ugly you look. Although the 5 megapixel camera on the back of the laptop is much better than the front facing one, I wouldn't go and replace this with an actual camera anytime soon. I received the model that includes the HP Active Pen, which runs a single AAA battery, has two input buttons, and a clip to store it in your pocket protector because there's no real way to store it on the laptop, but it is made of metal so it will attach to the magnetic hinge. The HP X2 sports a 10.1 inch screen with dual front facing speakers powered by a 1.44 gigahertz Intel Atom X5 Z8350 with 2 gigabytes of RAM running Intel HD graphics and 32 gigabytes of storage built in. That basically means you're not getting a very powerful laptop but a very efficient one instead. It'll play HD video at a maximum resolution of 1280 by 800 and has a wide viewing angle thanks to the IPS screen. So really don't expect to be playing any high end games on the HP X2. Finally you only get about 10 gigabytes gigabytes of free space after Windows takes up about two thirds of your drive. Thanks to that handy dandy micro SD slot though, I threw in a 64 gigabyte card for all my extra storage, but you can go higher if you got a larger collection of cat photos than I do. The extra space allows me to fully sync my Dropbox account to have access to all my files across all my devices. There's even plenty of room to store my Evernote database for my notes and archives. A much appreciated added bonus was the free 25 gigs for one year on Dropbox included with the HPX2. For a device with so little internal storage, having storage in the cloud is one of the most efficient ways to free up space. So you're probably asking, how well does it actually work? To start off, the keyboard is nothing to be proud of. With the chiclet style plastic keys, they feel kind of cheap and are a little more cramped and on the smaller side, but they do offer a good click response and I'm able to type over long sessions with it. Unfortunately, the touchpad is no better and probably the worst part about the whole laptop due to the size and wacky tap gesture recognition. To fix that, I turned off any tapping actions and stuck strictly to clicking left and right, which didn't drastically improve my experience. But this wouldn't be accessorize me if we didn't mention must-have accessories. And if you have the option, I definitely recommend completely ditching a touchpad and get a Bluetooth option mouse. Thanks to the built-in Bluetooth 4.0 and the lack of USB ports, my recommendation goes to the Logitech MX Anywhere 2 for its size and ability to work on any surface you use it on. I charge my X2 once overnight and I'm able to get about 8-9 to nine hours out of this covering me for most of the day. Which we have the really efficient Intel Atom X5 processor to thank as well as a smaller 10.1 inch screen to power. For me, as a content creator, scripting and storyboarding are a large portion of my workload. But for the past 2.5 weeks, I was able to use the X2 strictly for those two main tasks. Since about 60% of my work is written and drawn, the X2 easily kept up with me as my work laptop. The hinge works really well in most viewing angles and holds in place in our poke test. Although the screen is heavier given the computer is built into it, you will experience tipping if you don't keep a hand on the keyboard. The X2 is able to manage my workflow by accommodating my most used apps which include Evernote for note taking and organization, Dropbox for file management and easy syncing across all my devices, and also Chrome for research, but mainly because it also syncs my Chrome settings across all my devices devices based on my Gmail account. The slim design allows me to throw it into my bag without weighing me down and I can take it with me to a coffee shop or for students it's one less thing to fumble around during lectures. And that's all great and dandy, productivity, blah blah blah, but that's only half the equation. 
The other half, of course, is this, a magnetic hinge that transforms your laptop into a tablet. But you almost wouldn't have even guessed it could do that considering how strong the magnet is. It's like a clingy girlfriend that just never wants to let go. Jokes aside though, it feels sturdy and I've never worried about the screen popping off on its own. When you do want to transform, it's a two-handed operation and I found it easiest to yank at it from a corner. There are alignment pins that would seem like common sense, but because how strong the magnet is, this often happened. Going completely tablet mode is what I consider my media mode. Thanks to those dual front-facing speakers, I found to be more than enough for casual usage. Windows 10 has become my go-to operating system, even on my main rig, but it really shines when you're able to utilize the touch interface. Multi-touch is supported along with other quick gestures to help navigate Windows quickly. I didn't have any issues with the tablet recognizing my gestures, but just beware when running multiple applications. The tablet did have some hiccups and freezing up at times when just watching a YouTube video and having another window of tabs open. To complement the trio of apps I mentioned earlier and fully utilize the X2's capabilities with the HP Active Pen, I test out Windows 10's new pen and ink features. My favorite and no frills app that I fell in love with is Sketchpad, which I use to draw out my storyboards for all my videos. And occasionally I use Screen Sketch, which allows me to take a screenshot but instantly annotate the image so I can archive any visuals I like in other videos for inspiration in my future videos. The same goes for the built-in camera, although only 5 megapixels, it allows me to capture hand notes, sketches, and other documents for archiving in my Evernote. But even better, I'm able to annotate right onto the captured images to provide visual feedback for others or as a reference for later. So it's not a great camera for your next vacation, but it reiterates X2's capability of capturing and storing notes and ideas. There are other pen enable apps which you can find by clicking through the Windows Inc. workspace and clicking suggested apps. So what about consuming content like watching movies and surfing the web? You can do what most people do and simply hold it in your hand and you do you. But by flipping the keyboard around, it actually makes it a pretty useful stand accessory, allowing you to go hands-free to do things like this. Unfortunately, it's not that great when you want to interact with the screen in this mode, which is what tent mode is made for. By flipping it upside down, you get a much sturdier angle, allowing you to poke, scroll, or draw something without the hinge giving in too easily. And when you're ready to be on the go, you can go the traditional route and detach the tablet, or simply fold it all the way down, and it's a convenient way to keep the keyboard on hand when you need it, although you will be handling double the thickness. The HP X2 retails for $279 and includes the HP Active Pen. If portability is your priority, then this is a budget option that offers quite a bit of functional variety. At its core, it's a fully functional laptop, albeit a lacking touchpad, but the adaptability to a tablet and a stand mode easily makes up for that. For students who jump from class to class, the long-lasting battery and the small profile will keep you up to date without bogging it down. Finally, thanks to HP for sponsoring this review and supporting the channel. I did have complete creative freedom and all opinions expressed are from my own brain. That's it. If you love what you see and want to support me in creating more reviews, head over to our Patreon and enter our monthly giveaway. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment below letting me know what laptop you use. I rest my laptop?